Awakening by Hidden Faith. His mind was wandering when he noticed Atsushi had closed the privacy window between them and the driver, Jinko. He said, looking at him again, You don't need to hold back, he said moving in closer. I can take it. No, Akutagawa said softly, pushing him away. I can't do that. He met Atsushi's gaze, his heart heavy with the conflicting desires within him. I can't ask that of you. You didn't ask. I volunteered. I can't risk losing control, Akutagawa uttered, fighting the turmoil within. Atsushi placed a hand softly on his cheek. You won't. He whispered. The tiger will heal me. You know what Yosuno said. He grabbed Atsushi's hand and lowered it to his lap. There is a chance that I could injure you to the point where the tiger's ability would fail. Atsushi's expression softened as he regarded Akutagawa, a sense of understanding in his eyes. I trust you, he whispered, his lips lightly touching the base of Akutagawa's neck. Akutagawa couldn't resist this last plea, leaning in and sinking his fangs into the tender skin of his exposed neck. In that moment, a surge of power coursed through Akutagawa's body. He could feel Byako, thrashing against this intrusion. His instinct was on high alert, intent on keeping Atsushi alive. The pain was excruciating. But Atsushi pushed through, channeling all his focus on controlling the beast within. Be still, he's not hurting me. He said internally. Yako answered back, reeling from the pain. Afraid. Shh, it will be over soon. Just be still. Stop fighting it. And with that, the tiger was silent once again. The pain receded as he felt Akutagawa's fangs as they retracted. He smiled as he felt Akutagawa's tongue as it flicked over the wounds, lapping up the last bits of blood as the punctures began to heal. Although Atsushi's heart still raced in his chest, a sense of relief washed over him as he realized Akutagawa had regained control. Thank you. Akutagawa said, his lips still moving on the other's skin. Any time, he said with a smile. Akutagawa nodded, feeling a renewed sense of purpose as he held Atsushi in his arms.